Your catchphrase isn't even from Star Trek. No, it's from uh, a shock jock named uh, Howard Stern. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's a dear friend, and he's been uh, a partner of ours, uh, my husband Brad, in uh, talking up equality for LGBT people. And, uh, but I had never met him when I was first invited to uh, do his show. I uh, was doing a play in New York, and when you're doing a play, the publicist gives you your assignment. Yeah. So I went to that address on Madison Avenue. They asked me to wait uh, on a couch sort of like, like this, and they had the radio on. And I was looking through magazines, and I thought, that show that they have on is disgusting. <laughs> it's a vile <laughs> conversation. So I said to the person sitting next to me waiting, I said, why can't we have good music here? This is terrible. And uh, she said, that's the show wait, we're waiting to go on. <laughs> and then right on cue, the uh, receptionist came, ushered me into the studio. I walked in and there's this tall, wild-haired, horn-rimmed glass guy. And I said, good morning. And he says, you have a deep voice. A voice like that must have a big dong below. <laughs> <laughs> I asked, are we on the air? <laughs> and he said, yep. And I said, oh, my. <laughs> and he had it on tape. And so whether I'm there on the show or not, when someone says something or does something outrageous, he presses a button, and my voice comes on, <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> It's become, become my signature. <laughs>